fantastic, amazing band, great song, Nirvana, Rape Me. And um, I am tuned down a half step. I wanted to say that because I always forget to say that. So, all right, so if you haven't clicked on the link right down there in the YouTube text box, one of those links is gonna bring you to uh, some lessons that aren't on uh, YouTube at all. You can only get it by clicking that link right down there. There's a beginner lesson, a um, intermediate lesson, advanced lesson, so somebody for everybody. So if you haven't clicked on that, click on that. Also down there, there is a link um, that'll send you over to my Epic Beginner Base uh, DVD set that I'm really excited about. Um, that's all complete. It's up there. It's good. So if you, you know, this is you're very much a beginner on the bass, um, you're gonna love it. If you've been playing for a while, um, there's some great stuff in there for you too. So definitely check those out. All right. So the first thing you're gonna hear is he does a little, right, a cool slide. So I start on the uh, third fret right there of the E string, and don't really worry too much where you're going with that. You know, I'm not really going down to the octave or a specific fret, just make it sound cool. Right, just like that, sliding up uh, and then back down again. Right, and then you're gonna be on the open A string, hit it once and then twice, just like that. And you could use that same rhythm on the third fret of the A string. Or if you want, you know, you get it four times, hit it three times, however you want you want. And then you're gonna be hitting the open E, right? Just like that, you hit it once and then twice. And then you're gonna hit that uh, third fret of the E string three times. So if I play that all together without the slide, right? I'll do it slow. And I'll just do it with one finger so you can see what frets I'm on really well. I think I left my finger there, so let me, let me do that again so you can see it. So for that part, you're Hit the open A string twice, right? And then you're gonna hit it one more time, but right after you hit it the third time, you're gonna hit this third fret of the A string. So you got. And then you're gonna hit that four times. So you got. And then you're gonna go to the fifth fret of the A string and then to the seventh fret, right? Hit that three times. And you do this really cool back and forth between the fifth fret of the uh, D string and the seventh fret of the A. Just like that. Central. So that part right there, you're on the fourth fret of the A string, right? You, you, you can definitely tell when, when it changes in the song. You're gonna do this little melodic you hit the fourth fret three times, then the third fret, then the fourth fret. This is on the A string. Then you hit the second fret of the D string. Hit the A string once, and then twice. And then you do this cool chromatic, simply three, two, one, O oh, on the E string. So we have. Just like that. And then the next part you'll hear, he's on the first fret of the E string. Right? And uh, what you're doing is you're gonna hit it three times, slowly and then five times quick. And then two more times. So you got, if I do it slow. Just like that. Not staccato like that. I was just showing you how many times I play it. So we got do that same rhythm on the third fret of the E, and then you're gonna slide up, and then you're gonna hit that seventh fret of the A string. So to tune down half step, if you don't know how to do that, I've actually gotten lots of requests of people who didn't know how to do that for a lesson on that. It's very very simple. I'm actually tuned down half step right now, but. If I wasn't, I'm going to show you, you know, how I would do this. 
normally when you hit the top string, it's an E, right? But you want that to be an E flat now. So what you're going to do is normally you would hit this note right here, which is the seventh fret of the A string, which would normally be an E, right? And that would be the octave of this uh, string above it, the E string, right? So you have to tune down a half step from that. So what you're going to do is take your finger and just move it down what we call a half step, which is just one fret. And you have to get this note now to match that one. See, instead of matching this one, you need it to match this one. And then it'll be tuned down a half step. So you simply go. You just tune it down until it matches that. And then, and then what you do is you can tune all your other strings to that string and then you'll be tuned down one half step or just use a tuner. <clears throat> All right, thank you so much for listening. That was a lot of fun. Anyway, I am Finbar, Finbar Bass. Don't forget to click in the YouTube text box right down there. You can uh, check out my um, Epic Beginner Bass DVD course, five DVDs all for you. Switch on over to Amazon by clicking that link. Check out the, uh, the reviews. Um, you could also um, subscribe to Finbar Bass. There's another clicker actually in the YouTube text box right down there too that has those lessons. Don't forget about those. Um, and as I said, if you want to subscribe to Finbar Bass, got lots more of these videos coming all the time and you will know when they hit. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Have fun with that one, yo.